Welcome back to Home Built Help's Tip of the Week. This week we're going to supplement last week's tip on making modifications and repairs to fiberglass cowlings. Of course, these principles can apply to any fiberglass project with similar needs. This time, our goal is to add an attractive rim border around the prop, taking care to make room for the spinner. It should look something like these shown here. The objective is to start with an off-the-shelf cowl from a kit manufacturer and modify it to suit our needs. The process begins with inserting a cardboard backing to protect the engine from the foam that will be added. Tape is used to cover the cardboard and allow easy separation from the polyurethane foam that will be contacting this surface. The backing plate for the spinner is installed. It is also covered with plastic tape to allow removal from the dried foam. Here is the interesting part. Now pay attention and look closely. Tape is used to bridge the backing plate and the cowl. This creates a pocket which will soon trap the liquid foam and create the essence of the border rim we are trying to create. Next we mix up equal parts of the two pound polyurethane foam we featured in last week's tip. We can only estimate how much we need but it doesn't matter as we can mix up more and continue pouring even if the first batch sets. Pouring from the top, the liquid foam falls to the bottom of our pocket and we'll keep an eye on the amount we pour in as the foam expands to fill the void created with the plastic tape. To the rear is the cardboard insulating the front of the engine. On the front is the backing plate for the spinner. Once the foam has cured, we can remove the backing plate to see what has resulted. Because the plate is covered with plastic tape, the foam will stay put and allow us to pull it off without too much trouble. This is just what we wanted. We need a line for shaping, so a quick reinstall of the plate will provide an easy trace. Now we want to remove all foam outside of this line. This is accomplished with a blade and then some sanding provides the contour to our liking. In order to define the inner limit of this rim, we create another smaller circular line using a wooden template. This is simply to define where we want the rim to end on the inside. Using a blade, we cut the foam along this line to create the inner edge of the rim. Then everything inside of this line must go. The plastic tape allows us to simply chip away anything we don't want to keep. Sanding the rim provides the general angle and contour of the final product as you would desire. This off-the-shelf cowl came with a recess for an oil door, but we did not want one in this location. A little polyfoam in this recess provides a perfectly new flat surface that we blend into the top of the cowl. If you have not worked with fiberglass before, this next section will show what is involved. It is not difficult. The hard part has been finished by this stage. Fiberglass cloth is laid over the project. This is way oversized and will be cut away as we progress. Fiberglass cloth needs to be saturated with a resin. In this case, a polyester resin is chosen with the appropriate hardener mixed in.
The resin is brushed into the cloth and in short order it cures and hardens in the weave of the fiberglass cloth. The purpose of the polyurethane foam underneath is to give the fiberglass its shape. The foam can generally remain in the final product or be removed if that makes more sense. In the case of applying fiberglass cloth to an existing fiberglass structure like this cowl, the fiberglass cloth bonds to the existing structure underneath. Now, decisions are made as to where to cut the cloth and remove the portions that are not needed. Resin is applied until all of the cloth is adequately covered. Because a single layer of fiberglass cloth is thin, the method to increase strength and body to the structure is to add more layers of the cloth. You have complete control over choosing the areas that need more strength by continuing to add layers in these locations. While the work may appear almost finished, a professional appearance will require more sanding and fillers to make ready for paint. Quite a change from our original off-the-shelf cowl design. And you can leave comments on this tip if you desire, and please back to building.